guys and welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about all things to do with machine embroidery, garment decoration and running a small business from home. Today's video is going to be a product review. A company called HTV Ront has sent me their hat heat press. I'm going to be unboxing this product and using it for the first time. I'll tell you what I like about the product, what I don't like about the product and also how I think it could be used to start up a small business. So what would be the benefit of purchasing a product like this? The HTV Rond Hat Heat Press gives you the ability to press logos and your artwork or anything with an adhesive backing onto hats. As an embroiderer who produces custom work for clients, I am regularly asked to put logos on hats for people. People like to use hats to promote their brand, use it as uniform or for social events. Introducing hats to your catalogue or using them to start up a business is a good move because hats don't take up a lot of space storage wise. Usually it's one size fits all compared to t-shirts where you might have to stock multiple sizes and that can represent a more significant investment. Starting a business with hats gives you a platform to develop your business into other product lines in the future. And if after watching this video today, you decide that you'd like to learn more about the HTV Rant heat press or place an order, I will leave a link down in the description of this video. If you do place an order because of this video, I would appreciate it if you did follow that link in the description because I will receive a small commission for my efforts. While you can purchase bundles from the HTV Rond website, which include consumables, which you can use for pressing, I only received the hat press itself. The user manual is the first thing we come across. And then the other elements of the device are packed individually. First, I came across the heat proof pressing mat and this luxurious feeling velvet storage bag. The hat press itself is inside this transparent dome, which in my mind reminds me a little bit of a terrarium or a fish tank. There are two clips on the side which you unlatch and remove that dome to reveal the heat press itself. Before proceeding any further, I always recommend reading the manual whenever you buy a new piece of tech. Uh, this manual was only like two or three pages long and it also came with a very handy quick reference chart where it gave you examples of at what temperature and for how long to press a variety of different materials. The HTV Rant Hat Heat Press is ready to use almost as soon as you take it out of the box, you've just got to plug it into the wall. My initial impression of the heat press itself is I like how it feels, it's very smooth and it feels solid in my hand. It doesn't feel particularly light but it's also not very heavy and the buttons have a satisfying click. Uh, they are not touch screen, you actually physically click them down and hear a sound. And of course, the best part of any unboxing video, satisfying bubble wrap sounds. The clear dome forms a solid platform for you to press onto, but you have to cover it with the heat proof mat first. On each side of the heat proof mat, there is an elastic that hooks onto the uh, plastic pressing station. This keeps the mat firmly in place when you are using the HTV Rond heat press. When the heat press is plugged in and there's power going to the heat press, the white activation button starts to flash. Tap this once to turn the heat press on. To swap between Fahrenheit and Celsius, long press the green cog and short press the green cog once to toggle between temperature settings and timing. Use the plus and minus keys to adjust these values to what is appropriate for whatever you are pressing. The cog will flash red until the heat press has heated to the temperature you requested. Because of its compact size, the heat plate gets up to temperature quite quickly and when it does, the machine beeps. 
long press on the activation switch to start the timer counting down. While the heat press was heating up, I thought I would prepare my hat by inserting it over the ironing lid. For the best results, I wanted to stretch my hat really taut over the ironing mat, ensuring there were no creases. I wanted to make sure that as much of the hat fabric and the adhesive on either my patches or heat transfer vinyl made contact as possible. It's a shame that the rim of the dome wasn't lined with rubber or something with a bit of friction because when I was trying to put my hat over the dome I found that on the table's shiny surface the plastic ironing lid slid around and the way I dealt with this issue was to place the lid on a mat. Doing so stopped the dome from sliding around and I was able to place enough pressure on my hat to ensure that my patches adhered under the heat of the heat press. The heat press was set to 205 degrees Celsius or 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I ironed it for about 30 seconds. Anyone watching this video right now might think I went a little bit overkill with the heat proof tape and you'd probably be right but I wanted to make sure because the patch is an irregular shape that all of like the thin parts were tacked down as much as they could be so as much of that adhesive backing made contact with the fabric of the hat as possible. Something beneficial about this heat press is its curved shape and the fact that it is handheld. Comparing this to the static hand cranked hat press that I already owned, because that hat press didn't have the ability to move, it resulted in creases in the hats which were very difficult to get rid of. I treat the HTV Ront heat press more like an iron and I find that smooths out any creases that appear in the hat. When I first started embroidery, my first machine was a single needle embroidery machine which could not embroider onto hats. Using your machine to stitch out patches and then heat pressing those patches onto hats is a great alternative to purchasing a more expensive machine with a cap frame. But the heat press's uses aren't limited to ironing patches onto things. You can also use it for heat transfer vinyl and also sublimation. Although ordinarily I don't often work with heat transfer vinyl, I wanted to see what the heat press was capable of and so using my brother scan and cut, I cut out some glittery heat transfer vinyl and following the instructions that were listed in the uh, HTV Ront user manual for the hat heat press, I pressed this glittery vinyl onto a suede ball cap which I already had. My best friend is getting married in a couple of weeks, so I thought I'd make her something cute to wear on her hen night. Following the same process as applying the iron-on patches, I stuck the vinyl onto the hat using heatproof tape, covered the vinyl with some heatproof paper, and just ironed the heat press onto the curve of the hat, applying even pressure the entire time. Heat transfer vinyl is a relatively inexpensive way of customising hats. These make great products for promotion and gifts without breaking the bank. And using the HTV Ront heat press, it also meant that I could make these products really quickly. If you are an avid crafter or you run a home business, then storage is usually a big consideration when you're buying any new product. It was nice to see that HTV Ront had well thought out the storage of their hat heat press where the cable winds around the heat press, tucks in neatly, and then you place the ironing lid over the heat press, it clips in place, and the whole thing can be fitted into a cupboard for easy compact storage. I do hope this video has provided you with enough information about the product but if you do want to find out more then remember the link is down in the description below. If you'd like to see more of my content which includes machine embroidery tutorials, uh, product reviews related to garment decoration and running a small business from home 
then please consider subscribing to my channel. We're getting very close to the 10,000 subscriber milestone and I'd love to be able to reach that before Christmas. But thank you for watching this video and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye bye.